Hello, my name's Hamish and I've been asked by the AudioForFun.com crew to show you some of the cool things you can do with Voice Changer Software Diamond. As you can probably gather by the title, Voice Changer Software Diamond changes the sound of your voice. It's used in recording studios all over the world and by voiceover artists. But here we like to use it to prank call our friends. Today I'm going to call my good friend Louise using Voice Changer Software Diamond and Skype. And this video is hopefully going to take you through some of that process. Right, let's get started. First off, let's take a quick tour of Voice Changer Software Diamond. Here's what you get when you first open the program. As you can see, there's three main sections. Over here on the left, we have the Voice Morpher. On the right, the Parody Mixer. And down the bottom here, we have the Advanced Box. Let's focus on the Voice Morpher first. The Voice Morpher allows you to easily change the pitch and timbre of your voice. Basically, moving this yellow thingy up makes you sound younger. And down makes you sound older. Moving it a little to the right makes me sound rather feminine. While a little to the left makes me sound like a movie voiceover guy. We can move this little yellow thing anywhere in this box here to combine the pitch and timbre settings to get all sorts of crazy voices. We're not going to look at this parody box over here today, as that really deserves a video all to itself. Instead, I'm going to show you how to add effects. All of the effects live in the advanced box, which is down the bottom here. The advanced box is loads of fun. These buttons at the top here allow you to edit different aspects of your voice. The first one is an equalizer. You can use it to make your voice brighter or duller, depending on your mood. This brings up our effects list and we simply click on the boxes to insert audio effects like or this, this or this and we can easily stop all the effects at any time by clicking the reset button. Next up are the voice morpher and voice EQ buttons. These ones are only for serious tweakers and we don't need to look at them here today. The quality button allows us to squash the sound of your voice with a limiter and get rid of background noise with the noise reduction switch. And lastly, we have the background effect switch. This one is cool as it allows you to put your voice at a location, like the forest, a bus station, or the front seat of a police car. You can easily add your own backgrounds by clicking this button as well. Okay, time to have some fun. Let's call Louise. But before we do, we're going to need to make a new voice. So let's start with an easy one, Darth Vader. To sound like Darth Vader, we simply move this thing over to here. Yeah. Add some reverb. Compress it a lot with the limiter. And add some of Darth's famous breathing as a background effect. All I have to do now is speak with way too much breath, and I've joined the dark side. I can easily switch between Darth's voice and my own by clicking on the power switch here. The cool thing is, any changes I make here are going to be heard down the line through Skype or Yahoo or whatever VoIP app you like to use. It's time to call Louise. Hi Louise! Hey, I've got someone here that I'd like you to meet. Sure. Who is it? Darth Vader. Hey, how did you do that? I used the Force. Cut that out. Seriously, how are you doing that? I'll tell you later. Talk soon, okay? Sure. See ya. 
You can download the trial version for free from www.audioforfun.com and it's a great way to have a laugh with your friends and... Oh, hang on. Someone's calling. <laughs> 